So Amazon is spending a lot of money. I think this is the most money spent on a television series, right? Choose not the path of fear, but that of faith. It's The Rings of Power. Episode one was very slow and sort of character-based, you know, much like European uh, television series where they're just introducing you to the characters. But then the second episode is full of jeopardy, excitement, oh, just a lot of mean and scary creatures like the orcs who are mean and scary, and they dress mean and scary, and like a sea monster who's very mean and scary and destroys a lot of people, and all of these monsters, and they're different people groups, of course. Some are dwarfs, and the dwarfs don't like the elves. Nobody likes the elves, as a matter of fact. And one of the elves, Elrond, goes to the dwarves to try to get them to help him make a better kiln so they can make better defensive weapons. And another little hobbit girl, she's adorable, and Nur finds that an asteroid dropped and in the asteroid was a human being, or it looks like a human being, we haven't found out yet. And when he wakes up, he starts to bellow and the trees fall and everything goes and she says, no, 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 friend. And she wins him over. So there's a lot of allegory, there's a lot of beautiful things. It's about good triumphing over evil. But you know, some of the good people, including a little boy who finds uh, the emblem of the bad guy, Mordor and uh, Saradon, and all these people. Uh, and then when he finds it and holds it, his blood starts to go into it and it starts to ignite. You know that some of them are gonna go bad. So the first episode you need to find the ground of it to understand who's who, but the second episode takes off like a rocket and you want to watch it and it captivates you. And you would say a little older audiences, right? Because it's it's not bloody and gory, but it's got intense action. Well, the second episode is a little stronger and I'd say you should be 13 and up. Okay, we'll take a look at the full review at movieguide.org. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword.